These lights are intuitive, tough, and very bright. Use the link below and code OLIGHT10 for 10% off anytime. SHOT SHOW 2019, we're at the Condor Knife booth with Joe, how's it going? Good, I was as still as I possibly, I think, could be at SHOT SHOW right now. <laughs> There's so much going on. It's true. We got a ton of knives on the table, dude, and uh, deer skin? Yeah, yeah, this came from my grandma, actually. Um, and I don't have any really cool story behind it other than she was like, here's some deer skin I had lying around. It's beautiful. It's been in like five different catalogs as a background. <laughs> Cool, let's talk about the knives on it. All right, cool. Well, you can see we have a ton of stuff and this doesn't cover everything that we have for 2019. But um, starting out with these guys, this is the Pterosaur. We talked about it last year, but the problem was it was our first time doing a polypropylene sheath and we didn't like how the setup was. So we redid the sheath and the sheath is coming tonight and that's gonna be available. 50 bucks MSRP, 1095 full tang, Woo. sharpened back spine, so uh, that's gonna be a popular one. 50 bucks, that's a great yeah. deal. Yeah, we're trying to trying to hit hit a, a certain target on that. Oh man, that's gonna be popular. Now, the, the thing is with this design, I've had this design since 2009. Yeah. Um, I actually have some sometime later, if you wanna take a look, some of the old original ones that uh, custom makers did. Um, but I really wanted to get like one that didn't cost $300. So yeah, I like that's it. That's where that came from. Now this, particular axe called the blackout axe is designed by Tony Lennartz. It has a paper black paper linen micarta um, uh, handle and it comes with a kydex sheath which you can see that goes right over here oh, and it has different various functions such as a wrench and a hammer pole that's welded on the back. Uh, really cool this year Tony Lennartz has some amazing axes. Of course you know Matt Graham yep he came out with the tribal roots um, uh, dagger, which is really, really cool. It's still full tang, and it comes with a wooden sheath that just feels exquisite, and when they go together, it looks exquisite, almost like it's one synonymous piece of artwork. Yeah, that is beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. We you know that's very, very like old style it's design. Kind of, yeah, handcrafted sort of a approach and feel yeah. to it. I like it. And it's like more secure than Kydex, too, Whoa. in in some cases. I, I probably could get in big trouble swinging this did around, but I Did you say what the sheath was made of? What did you, what wood. is it? Um, walnut. Walnut. Yeah, it's oh, walnut. It's man, walnut, cool. which is a type of planty tree wood. Yeah, I hear <laughs> uh, Matt Graham, by the way, we saw him last year, and uh, he was actually part of the booth review, but I had to chop that cut, that uh, section of video out because we had an audio issue, and I was like super sad about that. So, sorry, Matt Graham. Did sorry, you see this? Matt. Matt's filming right now, of course. He just got done filming with Ed Stafford. Um, doing a race out in England and uh, that'll be on TV coming out soon. Ooh, so a lot fancy, of cool fancy. stuff. We got a new designer named Julio Diaz of 710 Custom Kydex Sheets. He also has some knives out um, and this is one of his knives. It's called the SBK. It's a five inch blade Scandinavian knife with um, uh, a uh, micarta handle uh, made out of 1075 carbon steel. Uh, came out with the compact Kepart. Everybody knows the Kepart knife, you know. Um, it's getting gaining a lot of popularity. The uh, One of the founders of the Great Smoky Mountains. And uh, so we took his original design and came out with this small 1095 leather sheath EDC uh, compact Kepart. Is that walnut as well? Yes, it is. We predominantly do walnut, but uh, I'll show you some of the other options when we don't have uh, I love walnut the look here. of walnut. Yeah. Um, I love the look of olive wood, but I like the feel of walnut better. Yeah, and you know, in, in a lot of cases, walnut's a little bit easier sustainable wise. You can find uh, walnut plantations that do a lot better. Uh, Good point. Um, uh, a little bit more environment, less environmental impact. Okay, I got you. Blue River Skinner with turquoise inlay. That's new this year, and we were able to do the turquoise and still keep the cost down, so this is pretty nice. You can see the white liners all over. Um, this was actually designed in-house. You can see the nice file work all over it. Pretty cool. Yeah, very good. Now this was designed by Walter Matthews. This is called the Trelkin. It's more of a bait knife style with a, uh, a, a walnut handle and you can see the thumb ramps or the thumb grooves right there. Oh, it also nice. has red leather or red liner on it. And it's a very, very thin blade as I drop it and cut myself. Ah. How cool would it be you just didn't like cut me. flick My a whole are... bunch of? It's got. It wasn't red liner. Now it has red liner due to all the blood <laughs> from one of the condor. Uh, My hands are clear. They're way, way up here. Oh wait, <laughs> uh, I got like nine other fingers. You're cool. Yeah. Um, 
Let's talk about some of the stuff that, that, that I designed. Um, this is called the Vipera. Uh, this is a really, really cool endeavor with um, Jorge Imana, which is an, who is an engineer at Condor. Um, he was like, Joe, you need to design more uh, snake stuff because I really like snakes. I have a concentration in, in um, herpetology and uh, a uh, zoology um, major. And so I just got off a of snake hunting down in the Florida Keys about two weeks ago and I wanted to design another snake themed knife and he was able to do some really cool new stuff at Condor. This is 1075, uh, an eighth of an inch thick. Um, looks really cool and has been very, very popular for the reception. So how did this texture come about? How does, how is that done? Um, they have a really, really big press um, that they're able to do. They can also etch. So it's okay. kind of a combination of both. Okay. Um, we'll show you another example of one of those, the big press. So last year, we had this knife called the Otzi, which was designed by a dead guy because it was found up in the Alps and it became the best seller of uh, Condor. And so I was like, all right, let's combine the Otzi knife with the bush lore and came out with the cave lore. Um, mm -hmm. This is a 1095 four inch blade, four inch handle um, knife that is very, very, very distinct. It looks like it was napped out of the indig indigenous. <laughs> That's, uh, igneous, that's <laughs> yeah, indigenous and igneous rocks. And rocks are indigenous everywhere, whatever. All right, but this handle is hickory. Okay. Now, um, this was kind of a neat endeavor in designing because I kind of learned less is more here. We, I went and researched a whole bunch of cave drawings and different paintings during that time and had them all burnt onto the handle. And man, uh, for some reason, I just couldn't get it to look right. It looked freaking cheesy. So we took them off and, and went back with a, a plain handle. And it's actually riveted underneath here. Okay. Um, so you still have the rivets like in the bush lore. And yeah. another really interesting thing is we took the lanyard out and have an inlaid lanyard. Now this is just uh, for show. Oh. We're going to have some thicker uh, thicker leather on there. But that, there's an actual hole in there. So the, oh. um, the raw hide goes in there and then right. comes out and then you're good to go so. so you get you a little uh i don't know safety pin or yeah something yeah. you feed it through there yeah yeah or a smaller string you can yeah. put like a smaller like monofilament in yeah, like yeah. a loop and then pull it through yeah yeah, yeah. and um so that's that's going to be pretty big this year the reception with this is awesome say the name one more time cave lore cave lore cave lore yeah like the lore of of the caves the caves, of the caves. Of yeah the cave it. people it's a bush lore um, became a troglodyte. Oh man! Can I hold it? <laughs> yeah. Quick? This is the first one of all of them I've held so far. But oh, cool! That's a perfect size. Yeah, look that at that! So it was good. made for you, man. Oh. You should go do caveman -y cut, stuff. Cut, 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 man! If you weren't leaving, you could have eaten beef jerky tomorrow or deer oh, well. jerky that oh, well. I uh, killed, and you could have like talked about this while eating a piece of beef jerky. Uh, oh, I wish. Sorry. I wish. Sorry. So. The uh, Huron was a really big seller uh, last year, so we came out with the larger one. This is a Huron 5. Ooh, um, nice. It's bigger for the hand, for bigger hands. Some guys were like, I want to see a bigger, manlier version. So we're like, all right. We threw some testosterone all over it, and this is where we get, what we came up with. <laughs> Let me get my hands on that one. Too. Sure. Uh, I did play with, or at least held the, the original Huron. Yeah, yeah. And I loved it for what it was, but uh, I actually, I like this one a lot too. Yeah, that, I, I that mean, one seems, I like that. Honestly, I like this one more just because some not, just like cars, some colors, cars look awesome. Some colors, they just look, oh, okay. The Huron did really well and is a great size, but this one's like, wow, this thing's meant, you know, recurves can be big and look cool too. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be popular, I think. So out in the, <laughs> in El Salvador, um, I was uh, trying to figure out how to spear fish. And so I looked at a lot of the, um, uh, the Pacific Northwest style uh, harpoons that were out there and was like, man, we need to make these small enough to fit into a wallet. So I came up with the design. And then uh, um, when I was down in El Salvador, we like, Joe, we need to go test this. So they dragged me to a tilapia farm. And on the side of the tilapia farm, there was a creek where all the escaped tilapia were. And so we mounted uh, these, the prototype of these on a, on a uh, small round dowel. And I threw, well, I missed a whole bunch, like a lot. But the one that I hit went straight through the eye and out through the uh, tilapia. So I caught a tilapia that was like this big with this spear. Oh, it comes in so packs cool. of three and um, goes for around $33. So around more or less $10 for the, uh, each head. And um, these are multifaceted. Yeah, they work great for an arrowhead or a spearhead, but you also can strike your fire steel with them. You can clean your nails. You can 
Uh, pick your teeth? Yeah, you can pick your teeth. You can do all sorts of uh, different type of fishing es escapades with them. Nice. And it's small enough to fit in your wallet. We have a couple of other spears out this year uh, too. Walter Matthews came out with a, um, a uh, an arrowhead and a, a larger harpoon as well. So lots of spirit uh, this year. Oh, like um, we have some other stuff too that we don't have on the table. Take a look at my newest folding knife design. That has something new that uh, the engineer Jorge Yumana put in the liner lock that makes it about twice as tough. So it can hold about 350 pounds and it's a 1095 Scandinavian ground um, uh, tactical style folding knife, which is pretty cool because there's not many of those out. And um, we also have a Puko uh, coming out this year too. A, uh, Pukos are awesome. Yeah, it's a survival Puko. Oh, so sweet. it has a smashing pommel on the back, but it still looks elegant as all get out. I mean, it cool. looks classy. It looks like awesome. a tuxedo wearing Puko. So but, anything that's not here on the table or at SHOT Show, where are people gonna go to look at it? CondorToolKnife.com or on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, uh, we're going to be sending some stuff to him if he wants, cool. so you can check it out with him. We have a lots of new stuff. This barely even uh, reaches the surface. Nice. Joe, Condor, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Make sure to subscribe down below, because <laughs> he might need a blood transfusion handling all these knives. Here's SHOT Show 2019. Thanks for watching.